In this video, we're going to take a look at a legal problem called Converse Sorted Array to Binary Search Tree. So given an array of integer uh, where the elements are sorted in ascending order, convert it to a height balanced binary search tree. So basically a height balanced binary tree is a tree that has a height of two subtrees of every node div uh, never difference by more than one. So let me give you an example. So if we have this array right here, right, this is a sorted array. And this is a balanced, or in this case, high balanced binary tree. So let's say a, a un or unbalanced, a high unbalanced binary tree will look something like this, where you can see that this is balanced because the height of the left subtree is basically um, is one, and then sorry two, and then the left the height of the left sub balance uh, the the height of the left subtree right is also two, right? And for the subtree for this node as well, right? The left the left subtree. In this case is one, the right subtree is zero, right? Which is no basically no different than one, right? But in this case, a height unbalanced binary tree will look something like this, where we have like let's say negative negative three as the root, and then we have negative 10 as the left child, zero for the right child, and then we have five and nine, right? This is unbalanced because you can see the height on the right subtree, right? Like you can see on the uh, for this root level, for this subtree right here, is still balanced because this node, the left is zero, the right is one, so there are no different than one. That's good. But for here, right in this case, you can see the left is zero, the right is basically two, right has a height of two. So in this case, two minus zero, right, is actually bigger than one. So therefore, in this case, this is a unbalanced or in this case, high unbalanced binary tree. So therefore, this is not a valid uh, answer, right? So what we have to do is we have to figure out how can we be able to pick the root. In this case, the root, right, because the array is sorted, we know that the root is always at the middle, right? Because in this case, when we're doing we performing a binary search, right? In this case, we have negative 10, negative 3, 0, 5, and 9. In this case, the root is always going to be the middle, right? Because the, the array is sorted. And we, we can ensure that the middle value is kind of like the midpoint, right? The middle value in the array. So in this case, if you notice the root is basically, we, we must have a balanced left side and balanced right side. So what we have to do is we have to pick the middle value as the root. And then what we have to do is we have to do a binary search to build the left side, right? And then we perform binary search to build the right side. So in this case, uh, what we have to do is we have to perform binary search for this sub uh, subarray, right? For this subarray, the middle value in this case uh, is basically the the index. In this case, it's zero plus one divided by two, which is basically uh, in this case is just going to be zero, right? So what we can do is we can either have like negative um, ten and negative three, right? So that will be the root. This will be the right child, or we can just have negative ten. And then negative three is the root, right? So either way it works, right? So in this case, what we have to do is we have to perform binary search. And for binary search, we have to find the middle value. And once we find the middle value, we can treat that as the root of the subtree so that we can ensure the tree will be height balanced. Because in this case, we're trying to pick the middle value as the root so that we ensure the left side and the right side is pretty much balanced, right? So you can see that the answer, or in this case, the co solution, what we did here is we perform. A, um, binary search using def, uh, using uh, recursion and you can see that we basically for a binary search we have to pass down the range so in this case the range is between 0 to the end of the array and then what we had to do is that based on the start and the end uh, we check to see if start is exceed the end if it is then pretty much we basically build our uh, pretty much there's no more nodes that we have to build so basically we just return null um, then what we have to do is we have to find the midpoint, right? Find the mid index. In this case, it's basically the start plus the end divided by two. And then we construct our tree node for the current node's value. And then we build our left side and we build our right side, right? You can see for building our left side, for example, once we build a root node, the left side is always starting from the here, right? Starting from the start all the way to the current index, current nodes, uh, current elements index minus one, which is here, right? Which is basically we're trying to build this, basically this is basically our left subtree, right? Because 
For a binary search tree, all of the elements that are less than the current nodes value will be on the left. And for a uh, binary search tree, all the elements that are bigger than the current nodes value should always be on the right. So that's why we're building our right subtree. And the right subtree is all starting from the current nodes index, right? Plus one, which is here, and then to the end of the array. And then this is basically how we build, or in this case, basically this is how we be able to construct or sort, uh, convert the sorted array to a BST, right? So the time complexity in this case is basically linear time complexity. Uh, and space complexity is also linear because we're constructing our binary search tree and it takes a number of nodes, right? A number of elements to construct to construct this tree, right? And we're iterating a number of times because we basically iterate the entire array um, to build our tree. So there you have it and thank you for watching.